right, so let's get started and talk about calculating yield, unit weight yield, relative yield, and cement content. So here's some basic equations. Whenever we go and our run our unit weight, basic calculation, you know, AKA density, basic calculation for unit weight or density is right here. That is within your ASTM or AASHTO standard. AASHTO T121, if that's what you're used to. All right, so you have your, what you actually, your concrete and your uh, bucket together that, that you weighed. That's 45.41 pounds. So weight of bucket in the concrete minus just the, that empty bucket weight. So you can do that math first. That's in parentheses divided by 0 0.2491 cubic feet. So when you do that math, the part in parentheses is 37.46 divided by 0 0.2491 cubic feet, which is 150 pounds per cubic foot, which that's pretty typical. Usually if you're between 140 and 155 pounds per cubic foot, that's pretty, pretty, pretty typical for normal concrete. However, uh, for normal weight concrete, I should say. However, if it's heavy, uh, you know, heavyweight concrete or lightweight concrete, those numbers should be quite a bit different. So if you're knowing you're doing, dealing with normal weight concrete and you get a number like 180 or something that's, you know, not um, kind of within that ballpark of 140 to 155, you may be doing something wrong or your specific gravity of your uh, rock and your sand may be a little different than, uh, than most parts of, of the United States. So. After you calculate density, you can go through and you can figure out uh, things like, you know, this is the basic equation for yield, relative yield, and cement content. So yield is how, how, is how much uh, concrete's actually being produced. The, the, you know, you have your actual batched amounts and you can take your, your, your uh, density, your unit weight that you just uh, measured and calculated. So that's your D right there. And then you can figure out how much material you batch. So if you have, you know, did you batch out a yard or 10 yard truck or what? And you can go and take that material that you actually, that you actually batched, you can add all those materials up and you can divide it by your unit weight and it'll give you a relative yield. So this is the basic equation for that M divided by uh, D times 27. Make sure you do that parentheses first. So D is obviously your unit weight times 27. What is 27? Well, that's the conversion factor from cubic feet to yards. So we can have everything in a yard. That's what we sell concrete by. All right. So after you figure out and calculate your, uh, your yield, you can go through and do your relative yield. Relative yield, what is that? Well, that is Kind of like a comparison or ratio, almost like a percentage um, of your your yield that you that you that your actual yield divided by your design yield. So you know if it's that if it's 1.00, then that means you have a perfect yield. You could think of it also as a percentage. So if you times this by 100. That would be 100% is a perfect yield. If you're at 102, that means you have 2% above um, yield. If you have, you're at 98, you're 2% below yield. That's kind of what it's saying. So if your relative yield is less than one, you're getting shorted or you're under yielding. If you are above one, then you're over yielding. You're having access. So let's talk about calculating cement content. Why are we calculating cement content? Well, a lot of different standards. They say there's a minimum cementitious material content of blank. Maybe that's 564 plus or minus 2%. Well, so we got to figure out with how much cement we batched and our relative yield, how close we are to actually providing 
um, that much cement per cubic yard. So let's go through some, uh, an example or two, kind of help you out. So example number one, you got your batch ticket at eight cubic, uh, eight cubic yards that were batched. You got an eight yard truck. Here's your batch ticket. This is what actually material that you batched. So cement, sand, stone, water, all batched right there. You ran Ashto T121 uh, unit weight test and you got 150.4. Now it's saying, let's go ahead and figure out what our yield, relative yield and cement content are. Well, first we gotta figure out our big M. So that M is your mass. So the total, the total weight. So you add up these numbers right here, all the way down, which is what they did here. They just put them down just like that. We had no water that was added to that job site, but if you did, or any add mixtures, you would need to add all those weights in there. So we got 32,300 pounds. Then we, then we can actually go through our calculations now. We got our yield. Our yield is M divided by D times that 27, that conversion factor. So whenever you start plugging and chugging, you got 30, 32,320 pounds which we got from, again, from just calculated right up there, that's our M, plug it in right there, divided by, and we have this parentheses, 150.4 pounds, that's your unit weight. We got it right from up there. Then we times by 27, again, our conversion factor. So sometimes people, they want to do the parentheses first, and then they'll come back after you get the parentheses and they get this 4,060.8 pounds per cubic yard number, and they'll come back and they'll, they'll do the entire 32,320 pounds divided by 4,060.8 pounds. Um, and that will equal 7.96 cubic yards. So you're supposed to be batching eight, you got a little under. So 0 0.04 cubic yards under, so just a little bit. What, um, so, but there's a lot of different ways to do math. The key is for you to run through the math and make sure you can get these same numbers. So let's talk about relative yield now. So this is the equation that we've already talked about for relative yield. So the measured, measured yield divided by design yield. So we just talked about the measured yield. So the actual yield that we have it's 7.96 cubic yards, and we have an eight yard truck. So when you do that math, you come out with 0.995, or if you wanna think of it as a percentage, cause it makes you warm and fuzzy inside, 99.5%. So you're just, you know, you are very, very, very close to yielding. So let's talk about cement content now. We already showed the equation right here. You get your cement batch divided by your actual yield. So we got 4,512. Where do we get that number at? We got it right up here in our given batch. Wait, right up there. There you go. And then you divide that by 7.96. That's where we got right up here at our relative, our actual yield that we measured again. So when you do this, you know, 4512 divided by 7.96, that's going to equal 566.8 pounds per cubic yard. So when you go down here and you look and you say, okay, well, we have a, say we're doing a project for the Oklahoma DOT and they have a tolerance of plus or minus 2%. And the mixed design required 175 pounds per cubic yard of cement, a total cementitious, I should say. So you have a tolerance. So uh, 575 pounds, what's, what's, uh, what's you know, plus or minus two, so 102, or you have, you know, 100 minus 0 0.02, which is uh, 98. So these are kind of our tolerances. So 50, uh, five, 75 to 2% higher, so 102%, or you have 98%. That's what we're doing right here with this math. So 
Uh, that's where we get the 586.5. That's a plus 2%. And the 563.5 pounds, that is the minus 2%. So we're kind of, so when we go in and we do our math right up here, we say, hey, we're, are we within the range for the cement content? Well, this is minus 2% and plus 2%. So we're right there in the middle. Uh, not in the middle, we're right there in between these two numbers, I should say. We're okay, but we're only a few pounds from being not so good. So, but, but, but according to the math, we are fine. All right, let's move on. Let's talk about problem number two. We have a 1.5 cubic yard batch. Here's our M. That is... We add up all these numbers right here, but guess what? When we went to the job site, they added five gallons of water. So we got to do five gallons times 8.34, which equals 41.7 pounds. That's so one gallon of water equals 8.34 pounds. So there's a convert. This is a conversion factor right here. So five times 8.34 is 41.7. So you got to take that and that's what we got right here. The rest of the numbers are from all are all from this batch column right up here. So when you add up all when you add up all these for your total weight is 5831.7 pounds. And then we talk about our yield now. So our yield, have our M, you put that right there. So 5300 or uh, 5831.7 divided by our density that we measured, the density was right up here, it's given 145.3 times our conversion factor. So when you do all that math, you come out to be 1.49 yards. So just a little bit under uh, one point, a uh, little bit under the one and a half yards. Then we can talk about relative yield. So where are we at with relative yield? So we have our measured yield, which is 0.49 divided by this 1.50, like I said up here. So we're at 0.993. So we're just, if you think about percentage, you move that decimal place over to, you have 99.3%. So you're really close to yield. So let's calculate cement content. So we, we had how many pounds of cement? 900 pounds of cement divided by 1.49. So that's 604 pounds per cubic yard. All right, so let's move on down. Problem number three. So we're doing the same thing again. We're gonna to try to figure out yield, relative yield and cement content. We're gonna throw you through a little more of a curveball now. So we have, you know, five yard, five, five gallons of water to the, added to the job site, but we also have fly ash in here now. Dum dum dum. So let's let's go through the math real quick. So we have five gallons of water times eight point three four. That's the conversion factor again. So forty one point seven pounds. Here is our given density. So we have six yard truck and these are our batch weights so when we figure out our big m so how much total weight we have we add up this column here and then we also add up the 41.7 so that's what we did here so 23,161.7 pounds then our relative then our yield well we take our bit our m 23,161.7 pounds divided by our unit weight that we measured, 144.8 times our conversion factor of 27. So when you do that math, you come out to be 5.924 5 cubic yards. So we're at six where we tried to batch out, so we're slightly under again. So what does that look like with a relative yield? Well, we can do the math. We got our actual measured divided by our design. 
when we come out to that math, we got 0 0.987. So 98.7, if you want to think about it in the percentage. All right, so how we deal with this cementitious, the cement content? Well, you got to remember, when we fly ash is a partial cement replacement normally. So when you have a total cementitious content of, of, of a certain amount, you need to add up both. So you need to add up the 2,944 pounds plus 656. So you add up your cement, add up your fly ash, divide by your um, yield. And that will equal 607.7 pounds per cubic yard. So you add up your, your total sim, uh, cement, that uh, so total cementitious material content that you batched, and you divide that by your relative uh, or your actual yield. That way you can figure out how much you have per cubic yard because cementitious material, usually we have a minimum you're supposed to have per cubic yard. So that's why you do it the way you do it. Question number four, we're almost done. So we're going to assume that you have, uh, we have an Aaron trainer. So we're throwing a little curveball. We got an admixture in there. So when we deal with an, with an admixture, you got 95 pounds or 95 ounces for is what you is what you uh, batched in there per yard. So whenever you want to do that for weight, you can convert 16 ounces per pound is what this this specific admixture does. Every admixture is a little different. So don't take take and use 16 ounces per pound for everyone. But for this example, that's what the conversion factor is. Um, we have our density right here, our unit weight, 145.3 pounds. So let's talk about, let's go and uh, figure out our yield, relative yield in cement now. So our yield, whenever we add up our big M, we are going to add up all this column here, oop, all of this column here, 19,500 plus 14,280 plus 5,880 plus uh, 1,454 plus 5.9. Let me add that up. You should get 41,119.9 pounds. And then you can put your density in right over there with your conversion factor. So that comes out to be 10.481 cubic yards. If you do the same math, but you don't take into account your air trainer dosage at 5.9, you do that same math, all of a sudden you have, you know, just barely anything. So 0 0.001 cubic yard difference. So barely, barely, rarely uh, do people really take into account with yield when we're talking about weight. They may not take into account the air trainer dosage or the water reducer dosage because they're, a lot of times they're very small uh, for, for, for weight. Now, air, air entrainment, you should always take into account whenever you're dealing with the actual volume of uh, with your mix design because, you know, air entrainment might be 6% of the total of the total volume of that concrete to get freeze thaw durable. Um, accelerators may be used at 3% of the total weight. So you need to make sure that you use our weight or volume. So you need to make sure that you use um, incorporate that in there. So that's why sometimes you don't see that always added in the calculation because it's such a small number. So let's talk about relative yield. So we use our 10.48, if we round, we move the decimal place over one, divided by 10.50, or actual batch, 10 and a half yards, we get 0.9981. So 99.81% is our relative yield. Then we can go down here and we can calculate our cement content. So we just, we don't have any flash in this mix, so uh, 5,880 pounds divided by our actual yield of 
which we can get over here, 561 pounds per cubic foot. So this is some basic math that we did. We went through four different example problems, kind of talked about how to calculate uh, unit weight. We did right here with an example. And then we just went through four example problems of how to calculate yield, relative yield, and the cement content. So hopefully today you got a little bit out of this. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day.